Starting with U.S. politics on this broadcast, former U.S. President Donald Trump has said that he will plead not guilty to criminal charges in a revised indictment, accusing him of attempting to overturn his 2020 election defeat. In a filing with the U.S. District Court in Washington, Trump waived his right to appear in court and instead authorized his lawyers to enter the plea. Last week, Special Counsel Jack Smith filed a new indictment on the four charges that the former president tried to subvert the results of the election that he lost to Democratic Joe Biden. Trump has been accused of attempting to defraud the United States, obstruct congressional certification of the election and deprive voters of their right to a fair vote. Republican White House candidate Trump was scheduled to go on trial on March 4th, but that was put on hold while his lawyers pushed his claim of presidential immunity to the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, a federal judge has ordered the Trump campaign to stop playing music created by Isaac Hayes. Following the ruling on Tuesday, Isaac Hayes, the third son of late American musician Isaac Hayes, said that he knows that his father would not want Donald Trump playing his music. Several artists of their representatives have objected to their music being played at Trump events over the years. My, my father uh, uh, was a father to uh, seven daughters. I have seven sisters. Donald Trump has been found liable of sexual abuse. I know my father would not want that man playing his music. A uh, man has been found liable of sexual abuse and some of the things that he says about women, especially black women and women of color, especially in this election. Furthermore, President Joe Biden touted his administration's record of extraordinary progress as he kicked off his Investing in America content series on Tuesday, highlighting investments into infrastructure and local communities since he has been in office. The White House said that the Investing in America program will include a series of engagements with Americans who have been positively impacted by the Biden-Harris agenda. The purpose of the program is to remind people of the investments into infrastructure and communities created by Biden's America Rescue Plan. And through the Investing in America agenda, we planted the seeds for a better future, and now those seeds are finally beginning to sprout. As a result, we're on the cusp of incredible progress and prosperity for the decade to come. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.